Transpennine Trail. Welcome to Dumford Bridge. For those that are familiar with the Transpennine Trail, this is the stretch before the Woodhead, where these cyclists are and road uh, or building work. That's the Transpennine Trail down to Penniston, from about four or five miles away. But we've uh, parked up here today, and we're going to take the road left up towards the Woodhead Pass and uh, along the Longdendale Trail towards Hadfield for about 10 miles but it's not a loop it's gonna have to come back the same way and we've got the boardman today I was gonna bring the white bike but uh, I know at the tops there's a few uh, technical and tricky areas and I thought you know what I'll just uh, go in the uh, Boardman. And I think the bloody tyres are uh, perforated. You can see all, all the uh, sealant coming out. <laughs> Great. Alright, without further ado, let's rock and roll. Yeah, it's a bit of a gruller. Come out of the car park, turn left. And on this massive road in. Road. Incline. for about a mile or so but uh, the pain of going up what a descent this is at the end of the trip yeah the road tail is off a little bit still on an incline uh, but uh, it's not so bad that was a grueler I don't know how many meters that was but uh, I run granny wheel and I was struggling very much struggling Will be worth it. It's the, uh, the top, and now we're going to head back down or head down towards uh, Woodhead, the A616 Manchester Road. Now, this is a return, so I'm looking forward to that descent. I have a slight incline up to the top here, and then I can just bomb it down. It's a very fast descent, very, very fast well worth this effort but then again the ride is beautiful let's see if we can cross woodhead without any hiccups without any hiccups straight over i did and now we're on to uh, a bit of a connection road or path to the longsdale trail oh also bloody sheep droppings flicking up all the heather on the uh, on the hillside and this is why I decided to bring the boardman today just for this little bit Full descent. Nothing major, just a bit of speed, but it's just nice just to be doing something like that. Particularly when you're on a designated trail like the Transpennine Trail to have that. Well, for me, it's a welcome, uh, a welcome uh, distraction from the flat in the town. Very much. 
entitled or if you want to miss that section out because it joins back up to Woodhead anyway so you could in essence use the road use the road we're going to cross there and again the Woodhead has been very kind to me just let me cross yeah we're on another part of the bridal way now got the Woodhead to the left a bit of wildlife in front sheep a few years ago since we're down here and it was uh, it were cows and they were all on bloody path and they won't move <laughs> they won't move they're like you you're not going to move are you Oh, you lot aren't too bad then. All right. You can get up, that's a good one. Thank you very much. Bless you. Oh. Well, you will sit on the road, won't you? You will sit on the road. <laughs> All that grass. I have to go poke and pick it up, but there's the uh, reservoirs that will be here. Uh, we're now the side of. Once we get to the bottom of this and cross Woodhead again, another bit of a rocky descent. These sheep get out way. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. Come on, baby. Get a drizzle in the air. Sure, which way we go? So, what's this TPT? Northern North Route TPT West. That's the little baby then. Oh. <laughs> that now we're telling me that. Oh, yeah, out there. Shine a light, <laughs> can't get round. <laughs> oh, remember this. Oh, you jumps. Oh, don't recall any of that. I've come right away, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. Well, that'll brill. It's got crap memory, though, that's all. Forgot all about that. That'll brill. And that is why I brought the boardman. <sighs> it crossed it over. Oh, he's been kind to us again. Excellent. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, three crossings and three clearances. All right, let's get down here and done it, Yeah, I've got to come up, come up this. So if you're unsure exactly where I am or what I what it is, that should be a big clue. Platform. And we are at the Woodhead Station and Tunnels. Look at that beauty. Oh, get back, sorry that. There we go. Welcome to Woodhead Station and Tunnels. Cutting through the Pennine Solid Manchester Sheffield Bar Rail. Tunnel one, tunnel two, three, four. 
Part 3, look at that. We need to some uh, at some point to get these open, I think, and uh, go through them. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, there's one platform. There's the other. So the old railway line would come uh, through here, which Manchester to Sheffield line, Woodhead, which has been turned into uh, part of the Trans Pennine Trail now. Which again is part and parcel of the Londondale Trail. the woodhead. One or two reservoirs. Busy as hell. Look at how busy this road is and I cut across three times without any traffic. Somebody were looking out for me. Thank you. Some beautiful parts of the to the Trans Pennine Trail. Having said that though, I've only done the eastern side. To me, this is probably halfway in it. I know it's a bit more than that, but uh, Doncaster being uh, Central East, for me to go over to Manchester, I always think of it as probably halfway. I've never been past Manchester, and I suppose at some point I need to do uh, Southport to uh, Hadfield. But I do like this stretch. I've done it once before, as mentioned and uh, it's easy going for this particular bit you can park at the top near near the tunnels anyway if you just want to do this bit or even further down there's quite a few car parks but it is a lovely lovely scenic ride and you're in the peak districts as well so at least if you're not into high octane high adrenaline riding you can actually just come on here and just still tell your mates that you've been to peak district <laughs> That'll impress them. You're not lying though, are you? Because you have. But you don't need to tell them where. Bit of a uh, incline up to the road on the cobbles. Cross over. Yeah, I just knocked up six miles, which is just over halfway. second uh, reservoir then. Oh, there's loose gravel. Bit precarious. Keep going this way then. Oh, train driver must have been a beautiful uh, choice of uh, lines to have. I wonder if they ever fought over it. TPT, tall side car park. Oh gosh, wet. So this is tall side car park. So we're near Manchester. Bloody rain, hot water. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. 
Reservoir, <laughs> well, late August, and usually that is just empty. I've never seen it so high, and it shows what uh, type of weather we've had recently in the last few weeks and months, possibly. Hey ho, at least it's there for winter, anyway. Bit of a cut in here, the trees, very nice. If you follow this channel, you'll have seen uh, I've done quite a few railway uh, track lines or disused railway runs now, which have turned into footpaths, pet bridleways. Either the local or uh, travel to Peak District. They're just very, very, very nice. Therapeutic. Let you experience the landscape, the man made landscape at times. Road now, fortunately, it's a quiet road, but still uh, quite fast. So, back on the trail. I think this now takes us to Hadfield, then. Yeah. Morning. Oh, family coming out. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all right. I think they had a bit of speed wobble on youngins. <laughs> Cheers. Nice to see families out. Morning. Thanks. <laughs> Little kid with speed wobble on. Yeah, the you just forget how difficult it can be riding a bike. Old house tunnel. Yeah. It's funny what your memory, uh, or what you can extract from your memory, because <laughs> I have done this before. Just don't remember this bit. I just remember it being quite open, car park up to Hadfield. There's no way this is a diversion, so uh, I don't know. But it's good, I'm glad I've done it again, because uh, <laughs> I was either asleep when I rode it or completely forgot about it. But it's absolutely beautiful. Love it. Just the tonic I need. That's sort of a gruelling week. So we are coming into the car park now at the start or end of the Longlandale Trail, whichever way you're coming. But to me, this, if you're coming from that way, which is obviously from the South Port, head this way. For me, it's like the start of the eastern section. Hey! <laughs> All right. 10.45 miles. The Longdendale Trail. 
It's on the return leg now. 10 miles back. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was good. I know it's not circular. It's a there and back route. But uh, I was mentioning on my trails earlier around Doncaster. It's nice to go a different way. In this case, I don't know which choice to get back, but uh, you see things differently and things you missed by going the previous way. So, let's see if I see anything that I missed. See what we've got bloody here. Chucking horse on a narrow uh, path. Have to uh, get in, see if it buckaroos me. Ooh. <coughs> see. Oh, here you go, love. Yeah, all right. I bet you love it with all people coming down here, don't you? Yeah. Ah, cheers, darling. Thank you. <laughs> five miles from uh, the tunnels now so we're halfway on the Longdendale Trail what I have noticed is that there's a very slight gradient I can feel it on my legs I'm not as fast as I was uh, coming this way I didn't notice it to be fair coming down but I've uh, noticed it going up ever such a slight gradient perhaps a few miles you just uh, you notice it There's a reservoir. Let's get back on the trail now. Morning. It's very, very blustery. At the end of August, you think now it's more like October at the moment. Great weather. There's Woodhead heading towards Sheffield now. Very busy. I'm just coming into view now. The tunnels and the platforms. One, two, and a big one. And the old platform. So that's the uh, Longdendale Trail. Although it stops here, in essence, it still is the trans Trail and it continues back to where we're going. Two tunnels shut down. Obviously, this one was built and uh, contained two um, lines. They use these two for the cables from Doncaster Staley Bridge. The cables are supposed to build in pylons of it, um, of it hills. But when these were shut down, they moved the electric to there, so uh, electric cables are there. So it looks like it's not going to be open for people. Never mind. No. Oh. I'm going to be beautifully coming down here. I'm not sure about getting up here. I'll take some thinking about. Seeing me derail, I thought there was another cog, <laughs> and there weren't. It's got wedged between the granny wheel and the uh, spokes, so just that one I get back. 
Oh, I'll tell you what, I flew down here, I loved it. And I was an exception, well, climbing up here as well. Little bonus. Let's get onto the woodhead bit now. Get up here. You can do it, Donny. Nice, that's some going, lad. That's some going. That is some going. Oh, yeah. They were quite uh, decent drop offs when I come down here. I know chance of cycling up here, but it's. Uh, yeah, impressive that Donny lad. Bombing down here. How bloody busy it's uh, woodhead is. Can't get up here. So it's a walker, even walking bloody tiring. Whew. Get that view. Ah, let's crack on Donny lad. Oh, there are young cows in the fields. I don't like this stretch, it's nice. Oh, apart from stone being kicked up on me, yeah, uh, frame. Could have been worse, could have been machine. We just crossed the, uh, the woodhead again, the penultimate time. Back on uh, this lovely terrain. I'm going to take front forks off, all locked up. Christ, I thought that would have burned there. <laughs> I was just going to get some. I remember the bloody fence were there. Right, coming up to the last bit of off road before we get to Woodhead Crossing again, the last crossing. And then we've got an incline, a road incline, and it's all downhill to Dunford Bridge Car Park. Right, it's got a bit cooler now. And that's me saying it, bearing in mind, I've just been climbing and I was bloody red hot. Yeah. <sighs> climbing right up to the top of that summit. And then it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah, well worth the wait. So we're just starting the descent. It's a mild descent to start with. We're looking at my Garmin. 19 miles an hour. It's pedaling down. 21. And just see now at the brow, it's going to hit downwards. And then I think there's the traffic lights as well. Content with. Let's see. And we're on 24, baby. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Well, I'm going to break the law now when I get to the 30 zone. <laughs> oh. Probably a bit shit to watch on to video, but... Uh, I tell you what, God, my ears are bloody freezing. 
And here we are at Dunford Bridge, and it's just gonna drop. It's just gonna drop. Here we go. 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, 45, 36, shit. Oh, you know, that's breezy. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that was good. Fucking freezing now, aren't you? Well, excellent. Oh, you know what? That was a great ride. Oh, God. I think uh, if you've never done that part of the Transpennine Trail, it's well worth uh, looking at the long sail uh, bit itself. You know, even if uh, you just park at Hadfield and uh, cycle to uh, the tunnels or uh, vice versa, did like uh, I've done and uh, park up at Zumford Bridge and then go up that bloody big hill, take the uh, cross country bits which are nice and then catch the Longdendale Trail. All in all, it's about 20 miles that, but the Longdendale Trail is probably about 12. Uh, but either way, Excellent. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like, please share, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't and you enjoy the video. Until next time, I'm Donny Lad. See you later. Ta ra.